I have a passion for wood. Ever since I was a little kid, I've had a passion for wood. I've pretty much done all aspects of the industry from some logging, working in sawmills, and I have my master's degree in forest genetics, so wood comes natural to me. So when I moved to next door, a guy who'd been turning wood for 60 years, it was a natural that I start hanging out at his shop. And then of course I had to start buying equipment. So here I am, it's a little shop, but it's all mine. And this is where I play whenever I have a chance. So this is a piece of wood that I just started, but you can't see the business end of it. Kind of the first thing you do, this is the foot. So when I first put a new piece of wood on the lathe, I have to turn a foot on it. And that's how you grasp the wood for subsequent work. Here's a piece that's now in the chuck. The foot was right here. This is the chuck. It goes on the lathe. The foot secures it in the truck. You put it on the lathe and the lathe spins it. This will become a salad bowl about 10, 11 inches in diameter. You can see right now that it's not shaped well. It's pretty much just a big old piece of wood. But once you form it, curve the back, take the middle out, it'll be a beautiful bowl. This is a piece of actually live oak, locally grown here. In fact, it came out of one of my neighbor's firewood piles. Um, I like wood with a lot of figure and a lot of interest. This has, well, I could call it natural bark, except the bark is gone, but it still has a natural top edge. And that's sort of my signature that I really enjoy wood with a natural edge. Um, this has a bunch of cracks and wormholes, and that's kind of my favorite wood. There are some turners who really like a piece of clear wood to turn. I kind of like it when it's got a lot of interest. Wormholes, termites are okay, splits as long as it, the piece of wood doesn't fall in half, but I like wood that's got interest. Some people ask where I get my wood from. Um, I'm well known enough, I don't consider myself famous, but I'm well known enough that people around the neighborhood when they see dead wood lying on the ground or they have a burl out back that's been laying by the barn for 20 years, it finds its, its way to me. And I'm just really pleased that I don't have to go out and seek wood. Basically it finds me, so lots of interesting things that other people overlook. They think of me and they bring it to my shop. The studio tour is really a once every two year opportunity for me to show off my shop as well as my work. I really enjoy having people come to my shop because a lot of people who just would purchase a bowl really wonder how it was made. So I enjoy them coming to my shop and being able to see how the bowl is actually made and some of the effort that goes into making it, especially sanding. Most people have no idea how much time I spend sanding. I never thought I would end up in California or Three Rivers, but I came to a place in my life where finding a job was imperative and I started looking for jobs in California. I have the good fortune to be employed at Sequoia Kings Canyon National Parks and that's what brought me to Three Rivers and now that I've landed here, I'm thinking I'm gonna be here a real long time. The breathtaking beauty, scenery, great people in the neighborhood and in the community, there's no place better to be.